If you have not yet accepted Jesus Christ as your personal Savior, let me just try to impress upon your heart that if you will just realize all the things that are happening around the world, whether I've just now spoken of them or told of something else, you must realize that we are in the last days. And I would just like to tell you what it takes to be saved. It's so simple, really. It takes faith. It does take belief. The Word of God says in Ephesians chapter 2, For it is by grace that we are saved through faith and not of ourselves. It is a gift of God not of works, lest any man should boast. So if you've been doing a lot of good works, you know, helping people, giving to maybe a church you've been going to, you've been tithing, which the churches press upon people, and you've been serving in this or that area of your church, those are works, okay? Now, having... No amount of good works will get you into heaven. You have to admit you're a sinner. When you come to the realization, I am a sinner in need of salvation, you admit it. You believe, once you get the belief that Jesus Christ did die for you, he shed all his blood on the cross for you, as well as for me and everybody else. And once you understand that and believe it, you say, Oh Lord, forgive me. I am a sinner in need of salvation. I repent of my sins. And that means you turn away. You fully plan at that moment to commit and turn away from your sins. You ask Jesus then, Please let your Holy Spirit come into my heart so that I can become better, learn of you, be bold and courageous, and trust fully in you. I'm going to need a lot of help, Jesus. You're calling out for him. You're putting your trust in him. You're recognizing him as your Lord and your Savior. You can do all this in your own wording. You don't have to say it in any specific order. It's just the realization that Jesus is your Lord and Savior and he wants you in heaven. You're admitting you're a sinner. You're confessing your sins. You're believing that his death on the cross and subsequent resurrection from the dead was done for you. So that you could have the free gift of salvation. Now, you've turned from your sins. You've told him, I'm going to turn from my sins, Jesus, and not do them anymore. Will you? You might. We all sin. The word of God says, for all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. Jesus did tell us in his words, Be ye therefore perfect, even as your heavenly Father is perfect. But he knew we were going to slip up every day, even after we started loving him and following him. The word of God also says, Pick up your cross daily and follow me. We must constantly be found putting our flesh to death, giving up all things that are wrong and that requires reading the word of God so you'll know overeating things that are uh, over and overindulging in any substance of course illegal ones are totally out of the question oh I could go on I could make a 30 minute video just telling you how to live from here on out. But you know what? That's what the Word of God is for and the Holy Spirit in your heart. Let Him convict you of what you need to stop doing or cut back on, okay? You could be over-exercising, believe it or not, and killing your body. Our bodies 
the word of God says, For know ye not that your body is the temple of the Holy Spirit? So we're not supposed to do anything to harm our bodies, okay? That's part of living right. And love God with all your heart, mind, soul, and strength. And love your neighbor as yourself. Call upon him first. When you're sick, when you're hurting, when you're lonely, you're depressed, you put him first. Pray for his help. And then... Go to the secular means, doctors, therapists, whatever, if you still need to. Don't put your trust in any man that stands behind a pulpit. There are some good churches, but there are far more where you go in there, you're going to learn something wrong. Like, well, I don't want to get into it. I mean for this to stay short for those who need to be saved. Once you've made that commitment, and you've asked Jesus into your heart, you will be saved. Okay? Now pick up your cross and follow him. Start by reading the Bible in the book of John. It's the fourth gospel, the fourth chapter in the New Testament. It is the book of love. Start there. If you have any further questions, you want to talk more, you can email me. At Jeannie Hardesty, all one word, lowercase, at gmail.com. God bless you, and I will talk to you later.